Hey guys, um, just wanted to give an update on Mozzie. If you follow my Facebook channel, you know that Mozzie had 11, piece, uh, piece, 11 teeth pulled on June 15th, which was this past Wednesday. And you can see he still has his kind of blood-stained beard going on. I haven't washed it yet. Um, he's doing good. Uh, I guess I'll go over a little bit uh, what happened. We took him in and we knew for sure that he was probably going to get four to six teeth pulled. Well, once they got him in, got him under uh, anesthesia, took some dental x-rays, they saw that his back molars on the bottom, the two very back on each side on the bottom, um, had a ton of bone loss and gum loss and his roots were actually coming through the gum line. So they called me and asked me about removing those and I said yes. As long as they knew that I was paying 400 that day and anything extra I was going to have to make payments on and they were totally fine with that. I've been going to that vet for five years now so they trust me to pay them. So in total he got all of his four top front teeth out and three bottom front teeth and then four molars on the bottom all taken out uh, this past Wednesday. And they called me about one, told me everything was going good. He was in recovery. Um, I could pick him up anytime after 3.30. So my daughter got out of work at 3.45. We got there about four-ish and paid everything. They told me everything, what to do, went over his meds he had to take. And when I was out waiting for him to come out, they came out and told me that they had tried to, they offered him food, he ate it. Well, when he ate it, he kept smacking his lips and licking the inside of his mouth, which caused one of the back uh, where his, one of his molars came out to just start bleeding and they couldn't stop the bleeding. So they asked me since I only live like less than a mile away, if I could come back at 5.15 so they could try to get that bleeding to stop. So I agreed and went back um, at 515 and he was still bleeding. <laughs> they said they even gave him some type of herb, I guess, that they sometimes give dogs that have been in car accidents for internal bleeding to try to stop the bleeding and um, that wasn't even helping. So they said, we want you to take him home. We think he'll be calmer at home. Maybe you can get him to stop with the smacking of the lips because uh, they said as long as somebody was holding them there, he was fine. Once they put him in the cage, he just uh, started whining and scratching the cage and just went and settled down. So I brought him home and I was nervous as heck. They said they'd call me at 6.30, which they did. Um, about, I don't think it was till about 7.30 that the bleeding started to stop. So um, I'll insert a picture here so I can show you the pitiful picture of Mozzie at home. So anyways, we finally got that to stop. He um, slept most of the day, or that night. Um, we got it to stop, so then about 11.30, I felt comfortable enough to put him in his um, crate for the night to go to sleep. He slept great. I woke up every probably two hours, <laughs> turning on my phone and turning the flashlight on just to look at him, and I kept blinding him with the flashlight. <laughs> He's probably thinking, geez, I'm trying to sleep, but he did fine overnight. I still have some uh, old towels there just in case. It, it's been, today is Friday, and he's had no bleeding, but I still have him there just in case. But that next morning, he woke up about 7. I fed him. Sorry about that. My phone rang. Okay, so he woke up at 7. I gave him some canned food. I um, wanted to make sure because they said he might throw up just because he had so much blood in his mouth and swallowing blood. So I waited for a little bit um, before I gave him his pain meds to let his food kind of settle in his stomach. And he had jumped on the couch and he started whining. Uh, kind of like, uh, I know that's, <laughs> yes, that's what you were doing. <laughs> um, 
So I gave him his pain med, his antibiotic, and about uh, 30 minutes after his pain med kick, kicked in and he stopped his uh, whining. So, but he's been doing good. He hasn't bled. He hasn't had a problem eating his canned food. I bought him some really soft treats. Um, so when he goes in his crates, I feel bad because I wanted to have something for him um, for a treat. So I'm not giving them stuff and, and not him. So I got him some soft treats. Um, let me show you what I bought. Sorry, guys. This is my vacuum. I'm cleaning. I have it clean because I've been oh, so busy with him and worried. So here they are. I got him these Bill Jack um, breakfast jacks with egg and cheese. They're really soft and small. So I got them those. Look at They're going in the crate. You're going in your crate because you think I'm putting you to bed or something? <laughs> if they hear me touch these jars or anything, they go... Oops, I'm trying to shut this drawer. They go in their crates because they think they're going to bed. <laughs> or they think I'm going somewhere. I'm oh! not going, no, I'm not going nowhere. I was just showing them the treats. Yeah. These guys um, were very concerned about Mozzie. They would go up, sniff them, and then they'd back away. Uh, yes, and they all need their beards washed. They've totally been neglected on brushing and getting cleaned up. Haven't you? This one's going to need his teeth, some teeth pulled too. Hoping to get his done by the end of the year. Costs $505 for Mozzie. So I've got to wait a little bit to build up some more funds to get him done. Right, Marley? And then you'll get yours done. Now I'll know what um, I can expect when I get his done. But anyways... So that's the treats I got them. And I've just been giving them uh, blue buffalo um, canned food. These here, the green free fillers. And I've just been kind of, because they're kind of chunky, so I just smash them up with a fork. And that's what I've been giving them for food. And do you guys want to go out? Okay. Let me let these guys out. As you can see, He's been running out. He's been uh, normal activity. Haven't you? Yes. You've been watching the chipmunks. You've been running out here chasing stuff. So he's doing good. So anyways, um, that was our experience. Getting 11 teeth pulled, right? I just was so upset, guys. I was so upset. And I know probably some people are thinking, he's just a dog. He's just a dog. They're fine. But they're like my kids, <laughs> you know? I did have some comments like that from my own family members. Like, I was being silly, you know? Oh, I just blow it off. I just blow it off. They don't know the true love of schnauzers, right? <laughs> so today I'm going to try to clean his, um... I'm going to try to clean his beard. The vet told me to, if I can't get all the blood staining out of the beard, to, um try some peroxide so I've got some of that so first I'm just gonna try to uh, wash it out with some whitening shampoo I have come here Mozzie I can't see you in the shade come here come here I can't see you I can't see you <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna try to wash his beard today and, uh, get him cleaned up a little bit I didn't want to mess with his mouth too much I didn't even care so that probably should clean all their faces, actually. So there's our little um, update on Mozzie. What happened with us this past week. And oh. he's doing good. Just oh. let everybody know. And if you don't follow my Facebook page, just um, search Schnauzer Mom and it should pop up. And it, I got all the little updates I had on him on there. Because I really wasn't filming um, much video because I was just too concerned about him. So... I just wanted to shoot this quick little update for those who may not be on Facebook. Sorry, my conditioner's on. Um, and let you guys know what happened. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Got Mozzie outside. Um, brought him out without the other boys. But you can see the side. Come here, Mozzie. See the side of his face is all crusted with blood. Oh. Mozzie, I feel so bad. Yes. I feel so bad. He's going to be okay, though. You're going to be okay. Yeah. 
So I'm just show you. Oh, looks worse than it is. <laughs>